Hey, what's up ladies and gents, it's Spoonie Pizzas here, bringing you the best OBS settings for your PC, PS5 and Xbox. And I'm going to show you the sort of before and after effects as well, which is what you're seeing here right now on your screen. So we're seeing the game without the filters that I've got applied. These filters are entirely optional among the other settings I'm going to show you. So there's going to be a lot I'm going to show you today. I'm going to be showing you how to get the best YouTube codec so you get that higher sort of quality fidelity around uh, around your streams and your videos so i'm going to be covering off the streaming side of things as well as the recording side of things so you're going to be able to get the best gaming output for your viewers and that's really important especially if you want to attract new fans and make high quality content without doing too much it's just all about the settings and that's what i'm going to share with you today so that you saw what it looks like without the filters and now you're going to see what it looks like with the filter is on these are entirely optional like i said but i personally think it makes the game pop more it looks more realistic it looks really really rich and vibrant and just draws your viewers in and i get a lot of comments saying spoonie why does your content look so good why does it look better than the game i'm playing and yeah i want to share these settings with you i don't want to be like enclosed or anything i want to share these with the community and and the wider world so this is what we've got going on and now we're going to take a look at my settings then on the left hand side you've got an output tab okay so we, up here we've got our stream settings now it depends on the monitor that you've got of of course because that's very very important um obviously i would recommend a a 2k monitor at least and the reason for that is because you're going to be able to record and stream and get the higher codec so if you stream at 2k 60 fps or 4k 30 fps you will be able to get the additional codec and then you can get the better codec from youtube and that is going to make your videos less grainy and it's going to make it look so much better just trust me on this so make sure you get a 2k monitor um if you haven't got one already you want to use the video encoder the nvidia one if you've got an nvidia card um reason for that is, is you know it's going to pull from your 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 gpu instead of your cpu so make sure that's selected now down here we've got all the best settings i'm not going to run through what they are just make sure you get these right because then you're going to have exactly the same sort of output so the rate control cbr the bit rate is important so when you're streaming so this is the streaming tab when you're streaming you need this to be i would say you have to look at your connection and see what your upload speed is and then see if you can output at this sort of level so for 2k i'd recommend around 30,000 kilobits per second this is going to give you a really nice output if you're going to go up to 4k then you need to adjust that bit rate in accordance so just google it online just say 4k bit rate and it will give you an idea of like what you need for 60 frames per second so yeah 4k 60 frames per second bit rate for streaming and you'll see like a list pop up on on google and it gives you an idea of what to go for keyframe zero preset slow good quality tuning high quality two passes high profile zero gpu two max b frames okay i don't want to run through too much detail on what those are but just make sure you get them and then you can have the exactly the same quality now we're going to look at the recording tab okay so this is just the location where i'm recording to i've got mpeg mpeg again the video encoder is nvidia that's going to take advantage of my gpu make sure that's selected don't use your cpu otherwise you're going to be like draining your cpu and while recording and that's going to take its toll on your gaming and you're probably going to lose frames per second on your gaming it's not going to be a very nice experience audio encoder um we don't need to rescale don't rescale because again you want that 2k output so don't rescale um and that's pretty much it for that part and the encoder settings are very important cqp 20 for the cq level zero keyframes slow good quality high quality for tuning two passes quarter resolution high profile again zero for gpu two for max frames and make sure you got that vis um, psycho visual tuning on as well make sure that's checked okay so that's the recording tab now we're gonna go to video and again obviously depending on what you're working on now this is taking from my playstation 5 so my playstation 5 outputs at 4k but i'm rescaling that to 2k okay but on my pc that would be 2k and that would be 2k so just know what resolution you need for 2k but that's basically it make sure this is set to 60 frames per second not 59 or anything like that and that's going to give you the best sort of frames per second and what i would say is if you are using some video editing software make sure when you export you want to export at the same sort of level so when i t tend to export even though i i record my videos with that bitrate i tend to well on my streaming i my bitrate's around 30 
megabytes per second. With my Filmora, I output my videos around 80 megabytes. So it's 80,000 kilobytes per second. Reason I do that is to get that higher quality, make sure it's pushing out the highest possible video quality. Obviously that's gonna make your files bigger and it's going to make the time to upload longer. So just balance that to how you want your quality and how much time you want to render your videos. Obviously I know not everyone's got the best video graphics cards out there, so you need to take that into account. You need to take into account like how much time you want to spend render vi rendering videos, uploading it, of course, and it all depends on your, your internet speed as well. So take that all into account. Okay, so that's pretty much the settings covered. I don't want to spend too much time. I've not got much going on here with the advanced, but I'll just share those with you as well. I didn't touch these, to be honest with you. So yeah, you know, you can note those down. Now, with the, with the obviously you saw with the PlayStation um, recording we saw earlier, we saw uh, some filters applied. I'm going to share those with you. So what you do is you go to your, your capture card. I, I use Ava Media Live Gamer. Outputs at 4K, 60 frames per second right mouse click and go to filters and in here we've got the filters so we've got HDR, HDR2 and HDR3 okay so HDR1 is actually color correction and HDR2 and HDR3 are chroma keys so to do this basically to add it you just go to this little plus slide down here and you've got color correction just click OK and then what you're going to do is match my settings in HDR1 okay so I'm not going to have that added on I'll run through the settings and the other one, the other two are, are chroma keys. So you can see here, chroma key, and then we're going to match the settings. So I'm going to delete those two. So that's how you set them up. Okay, so I've renamed them just for you because I'm so nice like that. So yeah, HDR1 is color correction. These are the settings you want to put in. Move it very, very slowly so you can sort of copy and paste these settings in. Okay. Once you've done that, you then want to add a chroma key make sure it's green and get all these settings just down here pause the video record it whatever you need to do and then we're going to move on to the third chroma key or second chroma key which is hdr3 magenta and then all these settings just here so that is going to give you your pop okay and you're going to see that if i if i remove the display capture of what it looks like with and without okay so let me let me take off the filters now so you can see what it looks like with and without okay this is with the filters this is without so you can see how grayed out and mucky it looks but with the filters on gives it a nice bit of pop real nice blend of colors so it just gives you an idea okay that's pretty much it for me ladies and gents thank you for watching the best OBS settings for PC, PS5 and Xbox and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please let me know down in the comments if you've got any questions or anything like that. Just drop a comment and if you like the video then please hit that like button. Until next time guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.